I'm Tom from LSI Garage. Today we have a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee in our shop with a 3.0 Eco Diesel motor. I want to show you how to do an oil change. First thing, you'll need a 27 millimeter socket to get the oil filter off. To make access to the oil filter, you use a 8 millimeter socket to get the intake tube off, and 13 millimeter to drain the oil, two gallons of oil, a funnel got some shop rags, you're going to need a catch pan or drain pan of at least two gallon capacity. Uh, we, have a, we have a unit that we roll underneath it that will hold 10 gallons so we can do quite a few oil changes. Just make sure you have a big enough container. Always have safety equipment. We wear gloves in the shop and safety glasses. Have a few shop rags handy. Well, let's get started. Okay, we're getting ready to drain our oil out. For filming purposes, we went ahead and removed a lot of these panels off the bottom. Uh, there's 13 millimeter sockets, all it takes, and it, you can get access to everything. So we're gonna take our 13 millimeter, take our drain plug out, let our oil drain for a few minutes. It's best to do this when the engine's warm. That way the oil drains out faster. Okay, we're gonna let it drain for a few minutes, then we'll be right back. Okay, our oil's drained. We're gonna put our plug back in it. Always inspect your drain plug to make sure the gasket's in good shape and that it is still present. Aluminum oil pan, don't over tighten them. Just put them on there snug. Always take, wipe everything down to make sure that it's nice and clean. That way you can tell if you have a leak. Okay, we're going to let it down and we're going to change the oil filter. We'll be right back. Okay, we have our Jeep back on the ground. Pop this engine cover loose. Four little places right here where it snaps down on the engine. Get it out of the way so we can access our filter. Take our eight millimeter. Take our air intake tube loose and move it out of the way. And our oil filter is right down here. And put your socket on here and unscrew the cap. Unscrew the housing, up the housing here. Remove the old oil filter. Take a pick or a screwdriver, pop the O-ring off your housing, roll the new one into place. So you get it down in the groove. Coat it with oil, snap the new filter in place. Always start it by hand to make sure that the threads engage properly. Housing, just snug it up just a little bit. You don't need to be real tight. 
wipe up all the excess oil residue. That way when you start it, check it for leaks, you'll know if it's leaking or not. Okay. Time to put our motor oil in. This calls for two gallons. Always be sure to check your owner's manual. Make sure you're putting the right oil in the motor, the right weight, which is specified on the front of the label right here. This calls for the 540 synthetic. Now I'm going to put the air tube back on the air cleaner and then we're going to start it up and check it for leaks. Okay, we're gonna get in the car and start it up, check for leaks. Okay, we have our oil back in the motor, our oil filter changed. We're gonna start it up, check it for leaks. Everything looks good. After it sits for 10 or 15 minutes, recheck your oil level to make sure it's on the full level. And don't forget to reset your oil change minder on your dash. Thanks for watching our videos.